Hey guys, my name is Shai, and this is going to be a quick video about your next level of awakening or your next awakening experience. If you're seeing this video, you've probably already had multiple awakening experiences on different levels, different zones of consciousness. There is something new coming through that maybe you're seeing just the glimpses of right now or maybe you've put maybe you maybe you're thinking about putting your toe in maybe you've put a toe in maybe you've got one whole leg in but you're not quite all the way in quite yet so and you do by the way have like the option of whether you go all the way in or how you navigate this right but there's basically a new portal being opened up for you and i was a bit curious i thought you know, when they told me, like, do this video, I was like, okay, shouldn't it be like a multiple pick a card? I thought maybe, you know, many multiple options, but there's something unifying about this particular awakening experience or this particular portal that I'm just making like one video for this. So this will either resonate or it won't. And that's it. Uh, this is a timeless message, but I do happen to be recording it on the full moon in Sagittarius of 2023. I love the full moon in Sag. It's a time of awakening and a time of unification so it works with this theme here getting lots of shivers <laughs> okay card number eight with the path and look there's our portal <laughs> gonna climb the stairs or climb this ladder up to this portal so, damn, that is, so, th th this is so symbolic. I don't even know if I want to water this down with words. I think you guys are all super cool and good about reading symbolism. I don't think you need me to hash this one out. But just think of the number eight here, right? The infinity symbol, vertical infinity, climbing up higher, transcending to reach your portal to this new venue, to this new encounter to this new experience. But what do we need to know about this? What? That's not the like you know you don't need to need, need to know anything. <laughs> you don't need to know anything. So you could actually stop watching this video and go, "No, I'm going to make it be a surprise." <laughs> that that's actually so sidebar, I guess, um, a theme lately for me has been like really, really, really internalizing the I don't need to know. All my life, I always kind of knew, especially since I woke up, like my initial like spiritual awakening, I kind of always knew, okay, so I don't need to know all of these things, right? I don't need to know them, but I still want to know. <laughs> I was like, okay, okay, I don't need to know. I get that, but I still want to know. Lately, I've been a lot even in the space of, I know I don't need to know, and I also don't care to know. And I've been leaving stuff out for surprise. Like I haven't been drawing as many tarot cards for myself. I haven't really been asking for guidance or answers or even clarity. I've just been kind of letting everything like really truly truly just be what it is and let it come as a surprise and let it flow however it flows and knowing that there is multiple ways for any experience to unfold and just really 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 like not just thinking that but actually living that that's how I've been the last couple of months I would say so it's a little interesting to try and weave that together with here I am sitting at the table talking with words, kind of trying to get a glimpse into what this next awakening experience is. Or maybe they're not even going to tell us, right? Maybe that's why they said just make one video. Don't even try to draw multiple cards for different people's awakening experiences. Maybe this is just about feeling it coming and finding out how to ride the wave. But let's see what this card is. Karmic board clearing, energetic clearing, rewrite your story, live your truth. This is something to do with what I was saying about understanding that there are multiple paths ahead, ahead of me and you and everyone and that it's like being at a buffet. This is actually changing how you think about spiritual guidance. That's part of this. It's also about changing how you think you need to 
pick a direction in life or manage your direction in life, it's so often we go, okay, I would like some guidance. I would like some practical advice. I would like some spiritual guidance about what my path is. I would like to know what my purpose is. I would like to know what my options are. It's a little bit like going to a buffet and then asking someone what you should eat first. So yeah, you can totally do that if you go to a buffet, maybe someone else has been there to the buffet and they know all the food and maybe they know you and maybe they might know what you might like and they'll say, hey, I really think you'd like this. Maybe try that first. Um, that's totally fine, right? That, that can even improve your experience of the buffet. But I think that type of experience is going on the back burner for now to a certain extent, that kind of experience, like the guided experience is going on the back burner. It will come back around because whenever we're in a pocket of energy like this, it's always temporary, right? That's like any anything anyone ever tells you, including any higher beings you communicate with, it's always just a message for right now. The opposite message or some cl completely irrelevant message will be for you at some other time. So it's only for right now, right? This is only for right now. But this, it, this has to do with like, th this is hard to articulate, but there's some kind of link between our desire to receive guidance, our desire to know specifically what I should do moving forward, or our desire for answers, our desire for clarity. That actually comes from like, I'm kind of seeing it like a karmic jumble, <laughs> like a karmic jumble, um, like clutter that actually comes from clutter, like karmic clutter, uh, to kind of try to explain this a bit more. It's like, like, why do we even care about receiving guidance? It's because on some level, we're afraid of making the wrong move. We're afraid of r making a mistake. We're afraid of going somewhere we don't want to go. We're essentially afraid, right? Looking for guidance, looking for clarity, looking for direction, looking for purpose, all of these things. Actually, if you really drill to the very base bottom of that, I think it actually comes from fear right? And where does the fear come from? Because in the past, you've made mistakes. Because in, I mean, and mistake is just one way of looking at that, right? I could say in the past, you went down paths and you were like, wow, this path sucks. I don't want to go down this path again, right? And that puts us in this place of wanting to be sure about what we're doing moving forward, okay? Wanting to be sure about what we're doing moving forward. Um, and that actually comes from having too much of a past, too much baggage. And if you are here resonating with this video, then you are a very old soul. And when I say old soul, when I say old soul star seed, right? Um, I mean that so much more ancient than, I don't know, if you were to just pick some random person off the street and if they were to talk about what an old soul means to them, they would have some idea about, yeah, this person has lived many lives on earth and they're very old. When I say an old soul star seed, I mean fucking primordial ancient. Like, <laughs> it's not just about how many lives you've lived on Earth. It's about how long your consciousness has been around in this multiverse, like from its inception, from its building, right? From the building of the multiverse and your soul and, and your entire experience of your soul in this multiverse being a heart blank, right? Being a heart blank in the journey of your consciousness. So the human mind really can't even uh, fathom how ancient your soul is. So that also means that you have all of this soul clutter. I could call it karmic clutter. I could call it akashic clutter, right? You just have all of these experiences from your past and it puts you into this place of trying to navigate the future and navigating. That's a word I used to use a lot, um, for me and my personal spiritual journey, always trying to navigate. And that was a really useful paradigm for me to be in for a while. I'm finding that not so useful now because I'm finding that nothing actually needs navigating. I only thought things needed navigating because of my past, right? So if we clear all of this out, if we clear all of this out, if we clear the past out, rewrite the story, live your truth. And by rewrite the story, I would even almost say like, just write a brand new story write a brand new story. What if you what if you don't need to know what you're doing, right? What if you could write your life exactly as if you were writing a story? So some of you might really benefit from like self-authoring techniques. 
or you could just sit there and imagine if, imagine that you are a character imagine that you are the protagonist in your own story imagine that you are a writer some of you are writers so this will be easier for some of you than others or you can imagine that this is a movie right how do you want to write your story going forward you probably want to throw in some some challenges some interesting things that happen some surprises some curveballs but you also know that it doesn't matter what happens you're going to come out going wow that was a really interesting story that was a very exciting experience right and look how everything worked out for me in the end look how i get my happy ending but also that there are no endings there's only a continuing narrative so this is like putting yourself in the driver's seat but not even just putting yourself in the driver's seat this is putting yourself in the author's seat the director's seat this is you writing your life a new you decide and this is why the need for guidance is dropping away <laughs> okay guys <laughs> I can't even believe it I mean, I can believe it because this shit happens to me all the time, but it still gets me, right? How many years of these kind of synchronicities go on before? Like, mm. So, like I said, this is a timeless message, but I am recording this on the full moon in Sagittarius. Sun and moon, right? This to me, I mean, this, this, <laughs> how do I, how do I even... The symbolism of getting the sun and the moon, right? The left and right, yin and yang, masculine, feminine, two halves of one whole, the moon reflecting the light of the sun. Um, all of the possible imagery, like you guys are going to be getting your own, like, <laughs> right? Ideas, activations, insights on this. So I don't even need to explain it because you guys, it's already clicking for you guys. You know, I don't even need to explain it. Also, right? On a full moon, right now the sun is in Gemini, the moon is in Sagittarius, perfectly opposite in perfect balance. That's what the full moon actually does is it balances out the energy because we have the sun in one sign, in this case, Gemini, and then the moon in Sagittarius, exactly opposite in perfect balance. And then we get the temperance card, which temperance is ruled by, like this is this card represents Sagittarius in the tarot, right? And I'm recording this on the full moon in Sagittarius. And this is also about the blending and the balance and... <laughs> Temperance, right? This is blending in balance. Yes, definitely that. It is also transcendence and rising to a higher level. Just like we were talking about here. So <laughs> I can't even, I can't even. The multiple, I would be here for like eight hours if I were to try to articulate all of this here. But again, I, it's like I, I so know that I don't need to articulate it. You guys are getting whatever you are meant to get out of this. <sighs> So, it's like literally the past is being flushed away and not just your past in this life, but your past from all of your lives, all of the baggage, all of the clutter, all of the crap from the past, all that is available to be released right now is just flushing away so that you are going to be experiencing this you are more capable of controlled balance that is the phrase they want me to use more capable of controlled balance now they're showing me a car driving really really fast in the last left lane so imagine you're on the freeway and you're in the left lane because you're driving really fast and because you're a really good driver and you know you can drive really fast and now imagine that the universe just adds on another left lane. And this is the lane where there are no speed limits. Just, just imagine this, right? <laughs> there are no speed limits in this last left lane. And so you're sitting there, you're going, do you want to? Do you want to change lanes? Do you want to go even faster? And that's why they're talking about controlled balance because for some people, it would not be safe for them to drive in the last left lane because maybe they're not as skilled, right? They're not as practiced. They just don't have as much practice driving with good balance at high speed because you got to stay in your lane right you got to make sure to stay in the lane you, this is when you feel inside of yourself are you ready to move into the last left lane drive even faster with even more skill with perfect balance knowing that you can 
drive faster, you can go faster, you can accelerate, and you can do so safely because you have the innate skill to do so. And also it's like you're not gonna have all of this baggage dragging you down. Like you wouldn't drive in the last left lane if you had a bunch of like tin cans dangling off the back of your car, right? You'd wanna make sure your car, your, your vessel, right? Your vessel was in tip top shape and good to go. So this is where you're at, right? You're ready to move into the last left lane and take off all the training wheels, take off all of the speed limits and just fucking drive, right? And at this point, you decide where you're going. The, the And you might think, well, I can only go where the road goes, right? You might be thinking, I can only go where the road goes and I need to know to turn left or turn right. No, that's not how this works, not anymore. In the last left lane, navigation is actually irrelevant because there is no navigation because the road creates itself before you, right? If you decide you wanna go left, the road will go left. If you decide you wanna go right, the road will go right. If you want it to keep going straight, if you want it to do loop-de-loops, if you want it to go through a tunnel, <laughs> It can go anywhere, right? The road, you will actually be creating the road before you. So before you thought, I can only drive on the road and I have to navigate left and right. Not anymore, okay? Not anymore. The road will go where you want it to go. And you might think, well, it's in front of me. How can I create something that's in front of me? Your bubble of energy bleeds out before you and the universe is co-creating this with you. So you, with your your free will intention and it's this is it actually feels quite subconscious right you might have things consciously in mind about what's ahead of you but it's actually being created from your subconscious it's actually being created from your subconscious your subconscious desires that's why it's really good that all of this karmic clearing is happening because we don't want to be creating from our subconscious which we're doing all the time anyway right but when when we create from our subconscious and our subconscious is full of fears and full of baggage and full of damage and full of trauma, then we create a bunch of shit we don't like, right? But clearing out from the fear and the damage and the trauma, then we will no longer be creating from fear, damage, and trauma, and we will just be transcending into this like golden light, this golden light, knowing that you are creating your own future and you are creating the road before you and you are driving it with skill and literally anything goes. So that's why they can't, <laughs> they're like, we're not going to tell you like what's next because it's literally whatever you want. But at the same time, what's next is you creating whatever it is that you want. From this newfound place of controlled balance and clarity and a completely fresh start where the past is no longer controlling you. All right. So, driving off into the sunset, creating the path before you from your newfound place of perfect transcendent balance. Sending you guys so much love and light. I'll talk to you later. Bye.